everybody, it's Laura with McLeod Homestead coming at you over here. Today is finally today. I don't care if it rains. I brought my umbrella in case I need it again. But I am getting that fence up. Come, no matter what I got to do, that fence is getting up today. I want this done. So, I started over here. I don't know if you can see. But I did just zip tie it to the post there, the end. And then I zip tied it onto this post here. And then I also used one of the metal clips. The metal fence post clips. So between the fence post clips and the zip ties, that is what I'm using to get it up. I've got the ladder over here because I'm going to need it. So let's get to work. All right, so I got it tight on that pole. This pole is nice and tight, and I had it temporarily onto that, but I've got to break the zip tie because that this is not tight at all. So we'll just get rid of that zip tie. And the reason I didn't do it tight was because I want to staple it to here. I forgot about that part. So, I got to go get the staple gun. Now I've got the stapler, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple this to the wood. And I want to try to keep it about the right height all the way across. Because this fence has been reused multiple times, it's kind of a pain in the dupa. So. Bear with me as I fight through it. Set it in there temporarily. So, let's see. All right. Now, I've got to try and line this up as best as possible on this. That's how it's going to have to be is on this one. works out perfect to get them on the clips on these ones. And then what I'll do is just put a couple zip ties around it. Come here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, and this is to help with critters getting through, is I'm stapling it to the wood. I kind of screwed up here because I wanted this tighter. So, I am debating, I might pull these staples out and fix that. But what I did is the upper part is even though they're over the clips, I still zip tied it just to be on the safe side. All right, so I did. I ended up taking this out, 
getting it over better. And I got this pole done. I just got to zip tie it now. But this was not straight. Uh, that's all right. It's holding it up. That's what matters. So that's the next one. All right. So I had to take a little break. Got the fence half up and I'm hanging lights as I go along as well. But I'm getting there. Now I'm going to get back to work too. Okay, here's part of why I need to get this, this fence up and get this spaghetti squash that is growing up over and hanging on the fence. Look at this. It is over and out here growing. Look at it all. So, before... I hook up any more fencing, I got to get these so they're on the other side of the fence safely without injuring my other plants. But look at that. It runs all the way up there. That's pretty cool. And if we look at the clouds, we got rain coming in. So let's get back to work. All right, so I still got to work on lights, but the fence is up all the way around. Problem with this backside is I live on a mountain. Therefore, I'll probably end up still using some fishing line on the backside for deer. But the fence is all up now to finish the rest. All right, guys, I've got to figure out the lights, the rest of them. I've only got one other yellow strand, and i got to take it down because that's inside of the greenhouse right now. So, I've got to decide what I want to do. I hung up the spaghetti squash, and I had to transplant a couple of my jalapeno peppers out a little more because it was killing them off under in there so I put them out here more hopefully it doesn't kill them but my fence is up my spaghetti squash is hung along the fence and I am calling this good for the day So, all right, guys, thanks for coming along with me today. Boy, I look around, it's hot, humid, crappy out. But this has taken me all day to do. And it's time to go figure out something for dinner. So I will catch you on the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Toodles!